this version of Emma is so wicked. I have a whole <laughs> history of women with, you know, who say these things. And three o'clock in the morning, I'm still trying to come up with an answer to them. What is your experience with women like Emma? I've always operated with, you know, killing people with kindness, or sometimes if anyone's ever overtly rude, I find it quite useful to, to just call them out on it immediately and just say, well, that was unkind. Because they don't know what to say. They're just like, oh, sorry. And you're like, yeah, you should be. It's OK. You can move on now. I'm going to use that next yeah. time. Okay. <laughs> um, the relationship between you and your dad on screen was just fantastic. Thank you. I was wondering, you've just exploded in the world uh, right now, and I'm sure traveling all over. How do you keep that bond between you and your dad? Um, do you have a little story you could share of closeness? Um, I have a WhatsApp group with my mum and my dad um, called The Three Musketeers, and we're all on it all the time because I love my parents and I honestly, I couldn't do what I'm doing without their support and their love. They're my best friends, so I'm very, very lucky to have them. She's very rebellious. Mm -hmm. I was wondering, um, in the spotlight, it must be quite tricky to experiment. So how rebellious are you um, at finding your own voice? I'm very rebellious. I'm just very good at hiding it. <laughs> I think that's all, you, that's all you really need to be. You need to um, know how to keep things quiet. On the way over, um, I heard something from Billie Eilish saying that she's going through a really difficult time because people are just um, being really mean to her right now. And I think it often happens when young people uh, get fame. People support you and then they try and pull you down. How do you deal with that negativity? Well, A, I'm, I'm really sorry for Billy because she seems like a lovely person and it, it's, it's awful to be bullied. I, bullying upsets me terribly and I think, I think it's important, as difficult as it is when it's happening to you, I think it's important to remember that it's not about you. It's other people's unhappiness. There's nothing wrong with you. They're just projecting onto you. And if you have a good group of friends and if you're close with your family and you have people that know you and love you, that's the only opinion that matters. Oh, that's such great advice. Um, I think I was on the set in Boston interviewing you for New Mutants. <laughs> <laughs> it was very scary, very cold and lots of mosquitoes. Yeah. Um, do you Welcome. Ever, <laughs> yes. um, do you ever feel like a, a, a mutant? Oh, interesting. Um, not really a mutant, but I have always felt different. And I don't think I've ever, when I was little, I always used to say that I felt like I was just on the other side of glass. Like there were people there and I was on the other side of the glass. And then I did a movie called Morgan where they literally put me on the other side of a glass in a cage. And I was like, oh, this is, this is what it felt like. Um, but yeah, I don't know. I think, I think everybody probably feels a bit different. We always feel that people like you never feel that way. Thanks for sharing. Oh, yeah, no, big time. Probably more than most. <laughs> Thank you very much.